In this tutorial, we're going to make a more complex sheet metal bracket. We will use sketch bend, corner relief, and produce a flat pattern. Let's get into it. Okay, I opened SOLIDWORKS 2022. As usual, this works for any version of SOLIDWORKS. I'm using no shortcut keys, but I will use um, Control, Shift, and Alt keys. So part, okay. So as we set up, we're opening a new part. It's letting it load. We're back on the top plane. We're clicking normal to sketch. So the part that we will make is in the flat position starting, and then we'll add the sketch bends to fold the position. So we're starting center rectangle, and we're putting up our sketch. We'll say 200 millimeters by 100 millimeters. And this is now our um, outline. But if we can see our bracket, we're talking about this section here, but we also have to add this section, our fold, our corner relief, and our downfold. So there is different ways of doing this, but we'll just start off. We can simply we bring up. Now I'm not really using um, to define measurements. Obviously, if you were to make this, you would define your measurement. So we're traveling up, cross and down with solid lines. We'll add 200 this direction. And we will keep this one 50 millimeters. To make it work, we need to go um, power trim, trim to closest under our trim entities command. Now you can see that everything has turned blue. So we've lost our definition, but yet you can see everything is in a solid line telling us that it is actually um, part of the part of the um, sketch. Pick our center point, which is our origin, pick the lower side, 50 millimeters. Now you see everything is once defined again. Never leave items undefined because if something else moves within the sketch, everything will move and what you send out to be cut or your final drawing could be flawed. So if we look at this, we have a section out here. We also need a section down. So what we'll do is we make the bracket. Uh, we'll show what is called a mirror entity. So if we take a circle line, a draw a line, construction line, across, once again, that line is now underdefined. So if we click the line, we can click horizontal, now we have defined. If we use mirror entity, mirror about, our construction line, entities to mirror, we want to mirror this line, this line, and this line. You can see in the yellow down here. Click OK. Now we're overdefined because it is taking the measurements from this side, project them on this side, which is already defined. So if we go to trim entities, cut, now we can see that only some is defined. But since this is a mirror entity, if we get rid of our 50, we are now fully defined. So in mirror entity, you can upset your uh, fully defined sketches. Sometimes it is quite easy to upset them, but usually if you play around, you can get those fully defined back. Another thing that you can do, if we click, let's see, does it come up? It's not actually here at the moment, but there's a fully defined um, tick box here. Never use that tick box. You're always, when you're learning SOLIDWORKS, you should ma make the sketch fully defined yourself. The amount of learning that's in that is priceless. So we have a few holes here. We have one hole on the bottom and we have two holes here and then we have a tab here. So we put in this tab um, last. These hole positions don't, doesn't particularly make a dif difference, but we just put them in to begin with. So adding our hold positions, drop down. For this, we'll actually make this plate first. So we will put in 10 mil, um, no we won't, we'll put it as a feature at the end. Okay, so we have our outline of our plate. We say sheet metal, 
base tab. We will say it is six mil steel, K factor 0 0.5. As I said, we'll do K factors at a later stage. We click. For beer and sake, we go clean carbon. So there is our stamped out plate. Now we can add our circular holes and then we'll fold the plate. So we're starting circular holes. The plate is flat at this section and is folded at this section. So we will say sketch. We'll start a new sketch, but you can use the sketch underneath. Drag down to this point. We will then go with our hole, our circle. So we're just seeing a plain punched hole. We're not um, declaring that the hole is countersunk. So this would say be for a bracket for um, a construction bracket. So we're saying 20 and we keep this one in 50 and we put another hole in 75. The lower hole down here we'll say is 25. Click, click. Now, holes are in place, but they are all different sizes. Shift, press the shift button, click each circle. Bring it over here, click equals. Now all our holes are the same size, but SolidWorks doesn't know what size they are. So we'll just put them in as 18 mil holes. No real hard procedure there. Now we're going to push, as our drawing states, two holes in this direction. Sorry, now I'm going to say center line. Drag up our center line. We will bring these holes in to 40 millimeters. We add there, add there. And we will also call these 18 millimeters equals. And we will bring them up 20. And we'll take them as centers of 40. So there is our um, hole layout. So we go, we'll do the sheet metal. There's also a cut extrude here. Link to thickness, click. Now we have our component with our stamped holes. So we have this much. So we want to go and fold this corner, put in our bends and reliefs. File, click, full line, drop that there. We're clicking, click to here, five millimeters. Click in here to this side, five millimeters. We're dropping that line from there to there. And we're saying it's 75 mil. This is now our sketch for our um, sketch bend. But just before we do that, to clean the bracket, we'll say features, fillet, and just add some 10 mil fillets all around so the bracket won't be sharp. Now, I'm also going to put internal fillets because we want to make this bracket as safe as possible with no, um, no issues. So we just fill it around the full bracket. Click OK. So the way our sketch is still here. So we're back on our sketch. Click. Now, I want to make sure my sheet metal parameters is correct. So we're saying we have an 8mm bend, which you'd look up on an air table air folding tables or air bending tables and we're saying our distance is 6 mil. Back into sheet metal, sketch bend, this is our flat surface, this is our sketch and we have our sketch here. So now if we pull down this and move below our fillet, click edit sketch on sheet metal, sketch bend. This is our sketch, our flat face. Now we're facing up. If we reverse that, we're now facing down. You can see our bend is exactly 
on the center. So we want to go in because we want our bend to be at this position. And you can see our radius travels around and can also clear that position. Bend down. Our next piece that we want to do, we want to bend this corner up. Now, I've already put in fillet there and a fillet here. So those two fillets are now in the wrong area. So if we want to change a fillet, if you click on it, it will highlight it over here. Edit feature. This is the, the line that we clicked for the fillet, on click. This line here, on click. Okay. Now you can see we have all our fillets and everything else is correct, but we just haven't filleted this piece or this piece. Now, want edge flange. As I said, you could draw this fully and then use the sketch bend again. We're saying edge flange and we're going to rise that flange. Click. So we want a custom bend. We'll say it's a 0.5k factor and a relief. So our relief type, we're using a ratio, and we go, okay, our relief is on this section here. We will go, um, we'd have to do our flange position first, which is in, you can see that SolidWorks is trying to show you uh, that relief um, type. See, as we travel through, then it adds the different positions. So. Trim side bends. So it's not trim side bends. We want to go with a orbital. See this? This has now changed. Has given us a full relief. So if we edit profile, it says our sketch is valid. If we pick this corner, we can drag that sketch back away from here. And we will say it is this to this corner we will just put in five millimeters. Now, our relief bend is um, set at this distance, and we also have this distance provided. So if our relief bend is, material is six mil, we're saying our relief bend is three mil, that will leave two mil this distance and three mil this distance. So you click finish. Our relief is coming down, has a jog. So if we go back in to our edge flange and we put up the ratio to one, now you see our outboard is much bigger. So that's a five mil distance between that point and that point. And it cuts through. If we go back to our edge flange, click you can see it says five mil here, we put the six mil. We now need to rebuild our sketch using this. Um, we can see the traffic light is required here. Using this button, now our relief six mil. It all depends what you want to do with your, um, your bracket. So if you can get away with a three mil relief, you're putting 0 0.5, which is half the thickness of the plate. If you need a full relief of six mil, which is the full thickness of the plate, you can put in one. And it just does the ratio. We use O, o bound reliefs to make um, a smoother edge for something like uh, plasma. But if we click flatten, you can see the plate, so the plasma will travel all around, come down, and swipe instead of trying to make corner and corner. Now, so we go to unfold. Click our front face, we say unfold. Collect all bends, so it's collecting this bend and that lower bend, face. File, sketch, and our drawing, our image shows two holes, one either side. Just draw straight across. Draw down, and we say 20 mil down, and we will put in uh, we come 20 mil in. I said I'm not using exact measurements and showing these examples. At a later stage, we'll be building some of these brackets and things physically in the workshop, and we will be using 
um, direct measurement. 20 millimeter side. So I had shown you how to take out those holes with an extrude, but once again, the correct way of doing it is with your, close that off, with your hole wizard. Into hole wizard, uh, drill sizes, and we will call the 18 millimeters. Many different ways to use saddle works. Kind of just choose the, the method that is uh, most active. There's your holes in those brackets. Now, if we go back to sheet metal, and we want to fold our bracket again, the face already highlights, collect all bends, click. Our holes are back in our bracket. If you're cutting, um, if you have a bracket made up and you want to cut or modify that bracket, always unfold it, do your modifications and refold it because that keeps those modifications normal too. You can click here, do a sketch here, but if the sketch doesn't stick to the face, when you flatten your bracket, you will lose any of your modifications. Fill it, just fill it off the end, click, and then Press space bar isometric, and there is your bracket. File, sheet metal, flatten. You can hide these sketches, by the way, by just click and click. And this is a bounce box sketch for a different reason, but you click it, bring up your bracket, click normal two, support the effects. Three, save, uh, sheet metal. If we save it as sheet metal, we can um, put in geometry, hidden edges, bend lines, sketches. So it just gives us a much um, bigger list of entities to export if required. We say sheet metal. For the effects, if it's going on a plasma or to be cut, you'd kind of want it as little um, Clutter as possible. So this one is not cluttered. You can see there's no extra lines in it. File, save. And then on flatten, click, isometric. That is a tutorial on SolidWorks sheet metal for a more complex bracket and how to find its flat pattern. Thanks for watching. Till the next time.